to my channel. I'm here today to film a requested video for you and that is to talk to you a little bit about my pre-planning um, and how I get prepared to sit down and film and uh, like my how I like prep all of my plans and so that is what I'm here today to film for you. I've never filmed a video like this and I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to but then I sat down to pre-film or to pre-plan and I was like, well, might as well just turn on the camera, why not? So um, my pre-planning consists of three things. It consists of number one, using the calendar in my phone to see what we have scheduled and planned. Number two, looking at my monthly spread in my planner. And then number three is writing it all down Monday through Sunday and creating a plan. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I figured I would walk you through it. Now, this is a normal Mead notebook that I purchased on Amazon. I have three of them. This is what the inside looks like. They're college ruled. They are perforated. So if you want to pull the pages out, you can. Um, it is a hard cover, which I really, really liked. That's why I purchased these because I like that they're hard and um, they're going to, they're sturdy and I can write on them anywhere. They don't need to have something else behind them. So inside of here, what I do is I like write out my week um, and I pretty much just make my plan. It looks super simple and not very fancy. And that was what I was doing um, before I decided to turn on the camera. So when I am going to uh, when I am going to plan out my week, what I do is I pull up my calendar. Give me one second. My phone is dying, so hopefully it stays alive. It's got like, I don't know, 1%. But in my calendar, um, my husband and I are linked as well as my daughter. And so we will put everything in the calendar. If it's purple, it's just for me. But if it's yellow, then I, it goes to my husband and my daughter. And my husband can also add things. So he added a doctor's appointment for January 30th. So I said, okay, and now it's in my now it's in our calendar together and I can see everything that we have planned. Um, a lot of people use just their phone calendar. I don't like using just the phone calendar because I don't feel like it gives me enough structure. Um, I like that it's a quick, easy glance to see what's on there. I also will put it into my pocket planner. Um, so if it's in my purse, I can just pull that out and I can jot things into it. But this I like because this is what my husband uses. And so we're connected that way, but I don't like to use this as my only planner because I just feel like it's not detailed enough. Um, but what I'll do is I'll click on Monday and I'll see what we have going on. And then I go through each day and I put it on here. And then from there, I put it into my Erin Condren or my, uh, B6. So for this one, this might seem like it's going to be a little bit redundant because you're going to see these plans again in my Erin Condren, but that's okay. So on Monday, I always put in that we have dance and what the dance schedule is. And then the other thing we have this day is Aiden's last night of hockey before he starts. Whoops. The next one. And that's all we have for that Monday. And this is for the 17th. <coughs> Excuse me. For Tuesday, Michaela has dance from 4.30. And then I think this night she's there till 9.15 because she has a makeup class this day. So, excuse me, I'm like choking. The other thing is that this is her dance teacher's birthday. So we gotta make sure we have a gift. And that's why I like to pre-plan because that's something I'm gonna wanna take care of this weekend. On Wednesday, uh, Michaela has finals. So she has a half day this day. And she'll be coming to my work. And then she has dance. Uh, right away and then she has we have scouts 
and fusion this night. So we have a lot going on on Wednesdays as usual. And then, oh, and this is our Scout Christmas party. See how I'm not even paying attention? And so she'll probably not go to Fusion. I don't know. She might come to the Christmas party, but I have to ask. I'm going to put a question mark because this is exactly why I pre-plan. For Thursday, uh, again, she has finals. And then she has dance. This is her long night. Uh, oh, no, that's not true. On this night, she has dress rehearsal. Dress rehearsal at... Uh, I can't remember what time. I have to look that up. I'll look that up in just a second. Friday, she has toy shop. And she has finals again. And toy shop, uh, and I have to see what time she has to arrive. The other thing is that Thursday they have their company showcase. So let me write that. That is where they're going to perform all their company numbers after. I think they have to be there at 5 30 because it starts at 6. Um, and then the 21st, I'll find out exactly what time she has toy shop at. The 22nd. Um, the 22nd, my mom comes in, so my mom arrives this day, and she gets in at 4.15, okay, and then on Sunday, Sunday the 23rd, we have, um, what's it called? We have the Nutcracker, Nutcracker at... 2 p.m. Um, and is that all we have so far? Uh, all we have so far. That's like a ton. Okay, so now that I have stuff in and I want to just clarify, what I'll do is I'll go to my email, and I'm not going to show this on camera just because obviously things are private, but I pull, I'll Google, not Google, I'll search for, um, I will search for t emails from her dance teacher, and here it is. I found it. Talks about costumes, dancers. Okay, so she says for uh, December 20th, they have to be there at 4 p.m. So I'm going to have to take McKay. Oh. I was going to say I'll take her out of school early, but she's out early that day. Yay. Okay. So they arrive at 4, 5 p.m. They have their tech walkthrough. 6 p.m. is official dress rehearsal. 7 p.m. is company showcase. And then for Friday, they have to be there at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. arrival. 6 p.m. show. Okay. And, uh... So that now, this messy, hot mess, will turns into my pre-plan. And I actually really like this method because it's super simple. I keep it all in this one notebook. So if I ever need to look back or if I needed to start pre-planning. And then on this page over here, I'll do my work schedule and what needs to go in my B6. So that is that. And then what I'll do from there is I'll look up stickers. Uh, and let me grab my stickers and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I know I've shown you guys my super non-fancy sticker storage already. I have cleaned a lot of it out. I took out all of the um, kit leftovers just because I didn't have room for it anymore. But what I'll do from here is I'll take my pre-plans and I will look in here for stickers. So for example, if I'm looking for a hockey sticker, I will look in my foiled icons and I pull them out and then I will uh, search through here and I find them right there from Simply Beautiful Plans. And I'll take them out and I'll put them to the side. And then I do that for each thing that's on my plans. And I put them off to the side. Usually what I'll do is I'll try to put them like in order. 
of what comes first and then what comes next. It doesn't always turn out that way, but that's what I try to do. And then when I'm done filming, I put it all back in here because uh, it's very easy for it to get everywhere and out of control. I lost my palette knife for a couple days. That was terrible. Um, so I try to keep it all together. And then in this uh, little pouch right here, let me move these out of the way. In this pouch right here, I also keep, and I've shown this before, but I'm just going to show you again real quick. I keep my pens, my slice tool, my tweezers, um, and usually I keep my whiteout, but I am out of whiteout up here right now. I have to bring another one from downstairs. So that is everything for my pre-planning thing. It's pretty simple. Um, and then usually what I'll do from here is I will write it down. Downstairs we have like a master, we have a family planner, which you know what, maybe I'll just go grab it and show it to you. Hang on. Okay, I ran downstairs um, and now it's the next day. <laughs> I just didn't have time to finish filming this um, last night, but I grabbed my home management binder and this is what it looks like. It is just a two inch binder from, I think I picked this up at Walmart. And this home management binder cover I found through Pinterest. I can't even tell you who it's from, but if you uh, look up on Pinterest home management binders, you can find a ton. This was from a, um, a blog that I had printed it from. And this is what the inside looks like. I don't even know if all this is going to be in frame, but um, this is funny, but my husband wrote a bunch of notes on there and he needs it, so I just kept it. Um, and then that's uh, timesheets that Michaela keeps track of her monthly TAing. And then in here, we just keep, I'll show you what we do. So this is left on the counter. The kids have a weekly schedule that they can look at. Well, everybody has a weekly schedule they can look at. And then I also keep a monthly calendar in there so they can see like what they have going on that month. Um, we keep a school calendar in here so we can see any important days. We have our weekly cleaning schedule, which I know I have shown in my Insta stories before. This was one that I, um, that I found on that blog, that same blog that I got the cover from. And it just like breaks down all the things that you need to clean in a week and what we do is I keep it in a sheet protector and I use a I use the dry erase board marker I have a whole rainbow of them and I just check them off as we go I don't do like I don't mark in the day completed I just mark it done or not <laughs> or leave it blank um, these two items here the yearly to-do list and the fridge inventory and the pantry and freezer inventory. I did not, I started this in August, excuse me, so I didn't fill these out. I'm going to, in January, um, I'm going to do a major exodus of the pantry and the, um, and our cabinets and it'll be just be a big purge and then we can see where we're at so we can keep track of those things. And then I have the rest of the year calendar in here. I've already written in things, marked off Dates. These are in page protectors that I got on Amazon. I just got their Amazon basics and they're great. They were super cheap. Um, you know, they're not the best quality, but they're, they're good. And then in this section back here, we have important phone numbers, emergency, insurance, health insurance, utilities, a bunch of stuff that I haven't done. I need to do, we need to do all this like to check. Um, our retirement information and then we just have we get in the back and then we get into like hardcore stuff where we get into um, there's a section that I have for Michaela for dance that has like her company um, her company handbook company dates and all that good stuff so that we can keep track of it all uh, so that's all back here ADFS that's our dance Michaela's, uh, what is this? Oh, this was, she had to check out a Chromebook. She gets a Chromebook from school, and so that's what that is. And then I have birth certificates. Let me just pass through all this. Marriage certificates, 
I have marriage certificate. Certificate. There's only one. Um, what is this? Enrollment form for our uh, health insurance. And then I have these here. These are the what I keep our social security cards in. They're just um, they're just for like credit cards or whatnot. This is our mine and Aiden's eye prescription that we just got, and that's all I have. So I just try to keep like all the really important documents in here. And um, when I do our taxes, I'll keep our tax information in here until the taxes are filed, and then I'll put it away in. We have like a locked filing cabinet. So this is just easy for us to find any of the information that we need. The other thing I keep in here is our homeowner's insurance information, but that's actually out on the counter because we've been working on getting our floors replaced when after we had the flood of our washing machine. So, um, so I brought this up here to show you because I'll put in the calendar hear what we have going on for the week and then everybody can see it and then like I said we have that monthly calendar for everybody to look at as well and see what we have going on and then the school calendar so that is everything for my pre-planning um now I'm going to actually go film my weekly video and I think I'm going to put both of these videos up tomorrow because I owe you an extra video. So I think I'll put the pre-planning video and my weekly so you can see how it all comes together. So if you're finished watching this one, make sure you go see that one and I'll have it linked down below or right up here in a card. And I hope you're enjoying the 25 days of Christmas, of Katormas. I can't believe that it's almost over, you guys. I want to try to find a way to give you videos like this all the time because I love it. It's been so fun. I just don't know if I can come up with that much content. So still got to do a meal planning video. I have some vlogs coming your way. So hope you're enjoying this and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.